All right, welcome back to the channel and today's product review. Actually, it's kind of exciting because this is a new product release for a company called TapTez, a very big name in the Tesla accessory industry. And today we're taking a look at their seat covers. And as a family that has three children, a very messy dad, and a wife that doesn't spill anything, according to her, these seat covers are huge. And the ones I've had in my car for the last year and a half have been fantastic. And we're looking forward to seeing what these are gonna do inside of the car. And we'll talk more about the specs of these, the options and all that stuff later. For now, when I install a new car seat uh, cover like this, I wanna know how easy are they to install? Do they look kind of OEM like they're supposed to be there? Or can you actually tell that someone went and put some seat covers on the car? Because if that's the case, they're coming right back off. I want my car to look as classy and stylish as it did when I bought it. And so we're gonna get these in and install them. But first, let's just take a look and see what they have here. Now, the first thing is that these are actually real leather. So you're gonna have that that leather smell. Now, as you guys know, I have white seats inside of my car, so this is then gonna be changing them to black, so I'll have to see how I like that. Maybe I'll swap them for some white ones. But the point of this is, are these good quality seat covers and do they install easily? And really, how much protection are they giving? So one of the first things that I recognize here is that all of the headrest uh, covers are separate. They're not attached to the actual backrest covers for the front seats. And that's something that's different than the other ones I have installed. So we'll see how, you know, if I like that or if that separation of the two makes them look kind of, I don't know, not all together, not all one piece. I like, I've liked them being one piece in the past. We'll have to see about that. And the way these all install is essentially the same. You're gonna basically slide this over your seat, snap this around the back, and then tuck this um, between the seat and this kind of pops out through the back um, of the seat. And that's what holds it in place. And then with the front seat cushions, these are the ones that can be a little bit more tricky because you have less room for your hands. But essentially you're gonna lay these on the seat as well. You're gonna tuck this center one down up through the seat, go popping out the back. And then you're gonna run these straps all down around the lower seat. Now it's pretty obvious that these are really high quality. First of all, they're really soft. Just look at that indent there. I mean, there's a lot of cushion going on in there. These are also vented, so you're gonna still have the heating of the seats. Of course, with any kind of seat covers, you are going to uh, have less because it has to go through twice as much material now. However, we'll test to make sure that that still works and in a reasonably good amount of time. Also from shipping, there are little things like this, like creases um, here in it, but within a week or two, that should go away. All of the car seat covers I have installed here on the channel have all had that and very quickly those go away. This leather stuff can be pretty forgiving. All right, so now we're gonna go install them, then we'll talk more about them. Cue the montage.
Okay, the covers have been installed in my car now for a full week. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of each part of these car seats. So let's first talk about installation. All car seat covers that are good are gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get on. I mean, they're made to fit like a glove over top of these seats, which means there's gonna be a little bit of a fight in some areas getting these things on. These ones though, they don't have the backs to them, which is actually a con for me that they don't slide over the entire seat. They cover all of the cushion part of the seat, which is great. And the, I think the idea behind it was why do I need it in the back because it's got those big plastic covers on the back of the seats. But the problem I have with that, which is my con about these specific seat covers, is that when you've got a bunch of kids in the back and they're constantly kicking your seat, they scratch up and leave prints all over the back of that black hard plastic on the back of those seats. And so I would like to have had it back there. But if that's not something you deal with, if your kids are older, and my kids obviously someday will be, then that does that is something that's really not the big of a problem. The other side, not having a full cover on the back of the seat, is it just doesn't look fully OEM. You can definitely tell there's a car seat cover on there because there's that edge showing all around the back of the seat like you guys are looking at right here. So for people in the back seat looking forward, they can obviously see it. And again, it's just kind of obvious you have a car seat cover on. But looking at it from any other angle, they're absolutely gorgeous seats. The design, the print on them, the stitching, how well all the lines line up and fit together looks spot on. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. I've had multiple people come look at my car and they all complimented on how beautiful the seat covers look. And they feel amazing as well. When I did the test on them to see how well the heated seats still work, these are vented just like your normal seat. It takes a tad bit longer. If you're really like timing it, maybe I would say two or three seconds longer, not much, to feel the heat coming through than if I didn't have seat covers on. I mean, they are thick, they are nice and plush, but again, they do have the vent holes, so it does work really well. One thing I'm not really sure of if I like about these specific car seat covers is that the passenger and driver headrests are a separate attachment from the rest of the seat cover. In the past, the seats that I have installed, the covers I've installed have been all one piece, so you never get that separation there uh, that I have in these ones. When you get a little bit of a gap, you can see my white seats through. If I was covering black seats, this wouldn't be that big of a deal, but because my seats are white, you do see a little bit of that. But if you tuck it properly, I mean, you can definitely hide it. It's just something else to be aware of. But that also does attribute to the fact that these are easier to install because they did keep them separate. But is it worth the easier install to have to deal with that? I don't know yet. Just remember when you are putting on the cushion part of these kind of car seat covers to lift the seat up as high as you can go, it makes the job so much easier fitting your hand down there. There's actually quite a bit of room underneath of the seat cushions to actually fit your hands and get the straps in. And there was a decent amount of straps on these ones to really hold them all together. And they did pinch nice in the back between the cushion and the back rear seat uh, to make it so you don't see any seam there. They do look very, very good from the front. So one thing I'll mention about the back seat covers, and this is pertaining to that center console with the little cup holders in it. You pretty much aren't going to ever want to use those. You can access them, but you have to unzip both sides of that seat cover. And by doing that, the whole center seat cover piece is just going to kind of flap and come off because it's no longer zipped on. And then what's holding the two side things together, you got little straps up top, but you really have that zipper holding the two together to keep it nice and flat and firm. So when you unzip those, if you were to lean forward, for example, if you were sitting back there, it's going to flap out and it's going to look pretty crappy. Unfortunately, of all the ones I have tried, there's never been a better solution for this. They all are kind of like that. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're someone who uses that center console a lot, that that is not the most glamorous thing. You might find that quite annoying. And so really, I, in my opinion, people that are buying these car seat covers are, are for you know times when you're not gonna be bending that down. Maybe you got kids' car seats back there, or you're just simply never using that back center console. If that's the case, works great. Now I'll mention too that after a week of having them in my car, I have no visible creases anywhere. In fact, I didn't have those even on the second day. I didn't notice any of those. I also don't notice any sort of smell in my car. There's no like pungent leather smell or anything like that. Anything that was there, I mean, I didn't even notice it once. So I have a pretty sensitive nose. So I don't really think that is an issue. So if you're looking for some good car seat covers, this is definitely a valid option if you don't need them to cover the back of your seats. There are solutions for protecting the back of your seats, the little kick plates, the little kick mats you can put back there that I'm gonna be putting in the back of the Model Y once we get these put in the Y. But a really great option in case you guys are looking for some. So what I'll do is I'll put my discount code down below as well as a link to purchase these. 
And then if you have any other further questions about installation or anything, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and make sure that bell is rung so on future videos come out, you'll know right away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.